Hi everybody, this is God Sad. Some of you who follow this channel know that a few days ago I posted a clip regarding the uh, revoking of a visiting uh, fellowship to Jordan Peterson uh, by uh, Cambridge University. And uh, since then, many people have written to me to uh, let me know that they have written to Cambridge, which is great. This is how we get people to get engaged. If there's anything that I can do to compel people to take an active part in the battle of ideas, then that's great. Uh, I just received an email earlier this morning from uh, some folks who had written to Cambridge regarding the, the decision that was made by Cambridge University. And then they shared with me the reply by the vice chancellor, which I will read for you right now. So a statement from the vice chancellor, I have received many messages in the last few days about the decision by the faculty of divinity to offer and then rescind a visiting fellowship to Professor Jordan Peterson. In light of these messages, I think it is important to set out some key facts and some reflections. Visiting fellowships are a courtesy extended to some academics from other institutions. They are unpaid and are frequently awarded by our faculties and departments. They allow the visiting fellow to make use of university libraries to attend faculty or departmental seminars and to engage in research, though not to engage in lecturing or other teaching. In this case, I understand the offer of a visiting fellowship for Professor Peterson was considered by the research committee of the university's faculty of divinity in the normal way and was granted on an academic basis. Early last week, the faculty became aware of a photograph of Professor Peterson posing with his arm around a man wearing a t-shirt that clearly bore the slogan, quote, I'm a proud Islamophobe, close quote. The casual endorsement by association of this message was thought to be antithetical to the work of a faculty that prides itself in the advancement of interfaith understanding. As a consequence of this, the faculty's research committee viewed its original decision to award a visiting fellowship and concluded that the offer should be rescinded. As is normal, neither the decision to invite Professor Peterson nor to rescind the invitation were brought to the attention of the senior leadership team until after they had been made. I have been asked for my views. I would simply refer to a statement I issued almost exactly 10 years ago as Vice Chancellor of the University of British Columbia. Quote, as a university community, we place a paramount value on the free and lawful expression of ideas and viewpoints. As scholars, we believe that discussion across boundaries and ac across preconceptions is, an, is a necessary condition for the resolution of even the most intractable conflicts. At the same time, we are a community that values respect for all others, even those with whom we disagree fundamentally. For a university, anything that detracts from the free expression of ideas is just not acceptable. Robust debate can scarcely occur, for example, when some members of the community are made to feel personally attacked, nor for their ideas, not for their ideas, but for their very identity. This remains my sincere and unwavering belief, as I have made clear in a number of speeches since returning to Cambridge nearly two years ago. Uh, so in the previous sentence, uh, the quote that he had made at University of British Columbia ended. I'm confident that this is a belief shared by most members of our university community. Some difficult decisions will always be necessary to ensure that our universities remain places of robust, often challenging and even uncomfortable dialogue while balancing academic freedom with respect for members of our community. Professor Stephen J. Toop the Vice Chancellor, 25th of March, 2019. So at least there is a sense now of why the, revoc uh, the revoking happened. Uh, and it's difficult to, you know, navigate this issue because on the one hand, you might say, oh, you know, yes, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's ha you know, he's hugging someone who uh, is wearing a shirt with a uh, less than... Uh, inclusionary message but on the other hand as someone who uh is often approached by all sorts of fans you know all over the place i don't usually keep track of what they're wearing so it is quite conceivable that uh jordan given the number of people that approach him the number of people that ask to uh, uh take pictures with him and so on uh that he didn't 
notice what the guy was wearing. Now, I, I have never seen the photo. And so, uh, you know, I don't know how conspicuous it is. Maybe the fact that if he himself shared it, I mean, if if Jordan shared it and he clearly was aware that of the T-shirt, if the message was very conspicuous, then we can argue, well, you know, uh, he is participating in promulgating that particular sentiment expressed on the T-shirt. And then we can discuss whether that's appropriate or not. But on the other hand, it's quite conceivable that he wasn't aware, right? I mean, he doesn't sit there and uh, go over uh, the sartorial decisions that were made by every single person who's come up to him to say hello. So the guilt by association is a, again, slippery slope. It's unsure, uh, uh, at least to this guy, whether, you know, universities should be holding every professor accountable for the sartorial choices of people that come up to them and if those people are wearing things that are objectionable uh, then the guilt by association mechanism is triggered that's a slippery slope again but in any case at least it's good of the good vice chancellor to have come out with a statement so that at least people can know uh, why it is that uh, jordan peterson was uh, stopped from his you know from going uh uh, you know, for his visiting fellowship. Now, I also had people write to me and say, well, you know, w why are you supporting uh, Jordan? The the jig is up on him. And, you know, he's, uh, he's a BS guy. I'm not supporting Jordan because he's my friend, nor because, nor should I not support him because I disagree with some of his stuff. I, I, I'm not a fan of his Jungian stuff. I'm not a fan of some of his equivocating when it comes to religion. Uh, the fact that he's my friend, sure, it I might feel more compelled to speak on his behalf, but actually no, because when Jordan first reached out to me, the first time that he reached out to me to come on my show, uh, when you know he was facing the whole story with gender pronouns, I didn't know Jordan, yet I was happy to give him my forum uh, because I thought that he was defending a, an important principle. So the fact that I speak out for Jordan is not because he's my friend, and it's not whether it's not a function of whether I agree or disagree with him in terms of his stated positions on a wide range of issues. I defend Jordan because I'm defending a general principle. And that general principle holds whether Jordan and I are friends or not, whether I agree with him or not. That This is how you avoid partisanship. You use a bedrock of foundational principles to guide your behavior. There you have it, folks. I wish you all a great weekend. I hope that I don't look too tired. I am very tired because... Uh, it's been uh, difficult to get some good sleep, suffering from some insomnia. So I think a nap might be in order for later this afternoon. If you appreciate what I do, if you consume my uh, content, please consider supporting me via Patreon, via PayPal, via Subscribestar. You can buy some of my merchandise. Uh, it takes a lot of effort, a lot of time, a lot of commitment. And certainly I bear a lot of personal and professional risks for speaking out the way that I do. And I hope that you would think that it would be a fair exchange if you support me in any way that you can. Cheers, everybody.